there was a report out that said that the NCAA is going to speed up the IARP stuff. It says they're speeding up investigation of major infractions cases, uh, some of which have lingered for years. Mark Schlabaugh wrote about this. A couple other guys wrote about this. And they launched this in August of 2019, the IARP, which has yet to fully adjudicate a school case. Now, the first one that they got, if anybody remembers, this is the Independent Accountability Oversight Committee. They are... They have expressed concerns about how long this is taking. The first one was the University of Memphis, the basketball case with James Wiseman back in March of 2020. And they have not done anything with it. And reading through this stuff, it says the Oversight Committee, which has expressed concerns about the delay in the resolution of cases referred to the independent process, determined that much of the delay is the result of efforts by the complex case unit to reinvestigate cases that the enforcement staff thoroughly investigated, an NCAA release said. Accepting the enforcement staff's results will speed the process significantly without compromising the goals of the independent accountability resolution process, committee members think. This entire time, they have done an investigation, sent over the notice of allegations, went through this whole thing, determined to send it over to the IARP, and then they just restarted the whole process. It's all of these cases, Kansas basketball, LSU basketball, you know, et cetera, et cetera, all the FBI basketball cases that have been sent over to the IARP, which is the arm of the NCAA that you cannot appeal. Nothing has been resolved on any of them, and that's the issue, is that these two idiot branches don't trust each other, so they're redoing work. Like, all the NCAA did was basically add an extra branch, an extra layer to this thing to where they don't have to do anything. I don't know why I was surprised when reading this. Maybe it's the fact that the NCAA actually admitted that, hey, yeah, these guys were actually reinvestigating cases. I Did you have any thoughts when you saw any of this? Yeah, Mark Emmert's the greatest con man of, of I mean, a second to Bernie Madoff in our lifetime. I mean, really, yes, really, he, he he absolutely is. He's got so many people fooled that he's he's showing up every day, going to work. He puts on a nice suit. Well, he clicks a nice heel on an expensive ass shoe. He walks up those stone steps every day to his office, and he doesn't do a damn thing. Yeah, I mean this this guy really is just conning the shit out of all these school presidents. This, all the them. IARP thing. Initially, I thought was weird because why, if you're going to appeal and then send it over to whatever, why not just send it back to the same guys if you've got different information? But this was, I, I don't, I don't understand this. Like it, the delay in these cases was the result of the complex case unit to reinvestigate cases that the enforcement staff thoroughly investigated. Basically, this branch of the NCAA didn't trust the information that this branch investigated. What are we doing? Like, <laughs> I don't know why I got surprised by it, but I had to bring it up because it's just nuts. Uh, the the ones that have been brought to it, uh, Memphis basketball, NC State, Louisville, Kansas, LSU, and Arizona. And all of them. Out, outside of the Memphis basketball thing, which the Memphis basketball things are relevant to, yeah, all, all of these things are fixed now with NIL. All of these violations happen under rules. This is one of those situations where people like you and me have to answer questions of what do you do with people who smoke pot? Okay. Yeah, because there was a day out. and a time where it was a, it was a felony. All right. And today it's legal in, in like the majority of States. Okay. So what, what do you do with people who did it when it was legal, illegal? Like, I don't like, I say, let them out. Like they're, they're exonerated. Okay. It's yeah. easy for me to say that because my school is one of these schools in here. But I also have been very consistent about this. I don't give a shit about anybody paying kids because I think you manipulate and use these kids so much that any money that they made illegally, I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with it. when it hurts my team, when it helps my team, it doesn't matter. I've been consistent across the board. When Ole Miss went through their stuff, I said, I don't care. I don't care. I'm yeah. never going to use the word cheating. I'm never going to call them out. Any other school going through this stuff, I don't do it. I don't do it because, A, I know everybody's doing it. So you're only catching certain people. And the only reason you've caught some of these is because the FBI did your job for you, by the way. Yeah, the um, majority of them. Which, which is bullshit. You weren't even competent enough <clears throat> to catch them. So 
So if oh, the, the FBI Memphis, is going to hand the, you so many cases. Yeah, the Memphis then, one was only, like, that's only a case at all because the NCAA said James Wiseman was eligible. And yes. then right before the first game of the season, Changed they said mind. he was ineligible. That's right. So then and they went said, and, F you, we're going to go for yeah. anyway. And they wouldn't pay or play them anyway. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you this. I, 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 don't, I don't care what happens. I, if I was all of these schools, I've been very consistent on this. If I was all of these schools, and I know my school is one of them. I don't care. I'd keep going forward with whatever you think is right for your school. And if you've got the right coach, and if you've paid illegally a, a player, and you're and everyone said, well, you got to fire this guy. you got to let that kid go. Okay, screw all of that. Yeah. Do what's best for your school and be damned what the NCAA or whoever this other organization says or does. Just keep playing. Just keep playing. Let everybody play you under protest. That's fine. It, it, one day the record books are going to show that all these dates didn't exist. They're going to take it all away from you. That's <laughs> fine. But we're all going to remember what actually happens on the court. Yes. So you do what's best for your school and be damned what those sons of bitches say. And don't forget, we still got that meeting in November where the NCAA may just not be a thing. Not not be a thing anymore. Yeah. So if you all these people that are saying, LG, I can't believe you got the nerve to not fire this guy. This organization that's after you might not be a thing anymore. Yes. Why would you fire them? No, you're 100% right. If that's the guy you want. If it's a got the guy you want, then you get to use it as an escape clause and you get out without paying them. That's a great deal. Yes. You're holding all the leverage. Why would you fire them? If you're Auburn, why would you fire Bo- 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 Burl? I, you wouldn't. Well, now I do nothing. You wouldn't. You no, wouldn't. You don't fire any of them. If anyway, you feel like you got the guy, once again, stick with him. Mark Emmert, con man. Nailed we've we've known that. that for a little while. But we believe I had that, and we've had it for a long, long time. Yes, indeed, we have. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.